Hey there, it's Bill from Bill Bond's Eyes. Welcome back. Um, two years ago, I bought a bunch of blackthorn whips, and when I went and I planted them in the ground in my garden, and dug them up this year. But what I did before I actually planted them was I did some root pruning. Um, I took away, cut away the the tap roots, and I decided to stick them in this little plant pot over here. I totally buried them. I didn't know what was going to happen and um, they actually, some of them have actually sprouted and so these are about actually two year old now um, and what I want to do is get them out of this pot which is all weeds and yuck and, and find out what I've got so uh, that's what I'm going to do now, just hang on and I'll get them out of the pot so there you go, that's them out of the pot um, that was quick wasn't it and what I want to do now is, because I'm actually holding the camera, I just want to see. It's going to be hard to get this done. Oh, here's one here. I, can't, I think I can pull it away. You can actually see that's like that was the tap root, original tap root. If you can get in focus there, that's the original tap root that I cut, and they've got like this little sprout. <laughs> I'm surprised how small this one is. Uh, let's see, there's another one. Yeah, there's another one there. If you can see that, that there. There is a tap root. And that. See how much growth is on it. Really good, eh? And that's um, blackthorn, slow plants. So one way there is just going to separate them and I'll come back to you in a second. Right, so I managed to get um, all the soil off uh, using my wee root hook here. And in the pot I've got some plants that are really interesting, I'll we'll show you them. There's one little stick here that didn't take. And I've got this one here. You see, lots of roots there. This is the original root um, right there, and a little whip. Not too bad. And I've got another one. It's got roots really high up. Roots really high. Sorry, I've got wee plasters on my fingers here. Roots really high up. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if I could cut all that bottom off and it still survive. It's really small. Um, a lot of a lot of green in it, so it's just doing okay. And a tiny little one. Most of the roots are at the bottom. Then a bit of a stick with nothing there, and a living plant at the top pop that in the corner over there and now the big one is huge <laughs> massive root ball um, roots going all over the place <coughs> and I'll just swap hands with the camera here we've got a root up here high up which I'll probably cut off um, but it's got quite a very interesting a lot of interesting stuff going on with it and it's quite a big plant quite big indeed um, for two year old so yeah I'm going to pop these up uh, and see how they got on over the years so what I decided to do with the biggest one is cut off that root that was coming from the top there um, give the roots a little trim with my nice sharp scissors and put some fresh soil in this pot and stick it, I'm going to stick it back in that pot when you plant it in there um, and see how it goes, okay? Alright, so that's that one potted up uh, I see it's quite long <laughs> Um, there's still a, a root popping up for the above the surface there. I'll leave that for now and see what happens. 
Um, I'll just let that grow in for a bit. Maybe try and wrap some wire around it and give it some um, some direction. Uh, I might do some pruning on it, but for now I'm just going to leave it and let it settle in and grow. Right, here we go with these um, blackthorn now slow plants actually in the pots and watered. So we've got this one here. I don't mind this. I don't mind the two branches on this one, um, but this one at the back. Uh, if I can get a focus on it, I don't like that other one. So the one in the left will probably get cut off. Possibly the one on the right, but definitely one of them, and it'll probably be better as a slanting type thing, something like that, wired up. Um, this wee one here is quite funky, if I can get in focus again. That one there, <laughs> it's quite fine, quite small actually. And this one's like really long, <laughs> um, with that branch sticking up, and that's it's got a third little branch at the back there as well, which mm, I'm not sure about. To be honest with you, but I can imagine I can actually see this doing quite well as a bonsai with the proper styling and a bit of wiring. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's four plants I've got out of these root plantings um, using the tap roots one died so that was like five I found there might have been another one in that soil but I couldn't find it I'm sure there was more um, but there was four plants that's not too bad I would say it's about a 50% um, hit rate for what I got maybe I didn't plant all the the root tappings the, root, the tap roots that are that are cut off but you know that's just not too bad so from about 10 plants, I've got now 14. Um, yeah. So what do you think of this? Uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, and thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.